I want to go through this problem because it causes a lot of confusion for students. The Sullivan problem from Pearson it says, suppose the probability that a passenger will miss a flight is 0 0.0953. Airlines do not like flights with empty seats, but it is also desirable to have an o it is also not desirable to have overbooked flights because passengers must be bumped from the flight. Suppose that an airplane has a seating capacity of 58 passengers. So A is, if 60 tickets are sold, what is the probability that 59 or 60 passengers show up for the flight resulting in an overbooked flight? Okay, so this is a binomial probability problem, right? You've got a probability that someone will miss a flight. But we also have the probability that someone will show up for the flight, right? If this is the probability that they will miss it, one minus this is the probability that they will show up. And for people to be bumped, more people have to show up. So in this case, we're going to be using the what we call the Q probability, right? This is P. We want one minus P to be Q. So let's look at the calculator here. So let's look at the calculator here. 1 minus 0 0.0953. This is going to be the probability that someone shows up. 0 0.9047. We want to open StatCrunch. And then this problem, my specific class, I've imported it. So you might have to open StatCrunch from the main My Math Lab page because StatCrunch has a calculator for the binomial. Now it says 60 tickets are sold. Well, that's the number of tickets. That's going to be our n. Then the probability, it says if 60 tickets are sold, what is the probability that 59 or 60 passengers show up? So that's why we changed it. It's not 0 0.0953, it's 0 0.9047, right? Now, the, what is the probability of 59 or 60 show up? Well, we need to go 59 or 60. It only seats 58, right? But we want the probability that it is equal to or greater than 59 out of the 60 total tickets that were sold. 0 0.0179, 0 0.0180, rounding up. So the key here was to kind of look at the probability. It says miss a flight. But when you're going to be bumped from an airplane, you're actually showing up. So we had to do 1 minus p to get the q, get the other probability, right, of showing up. All right, let's go to b. Suppose that 64 tickets are sold. OK, I'm going to immediately change this to 64 and leave my showing up probability. What is the probability a passenger will have to be bumped? OK, so we're showing up, right? Again, what's the, and now what number would this be? Would it be 59? Well, when do you start bumping passengers? Go back to the problem. Suppose the airplane has a seating capacity of 58. OK, so at 58, it's full. So if I went down to 58, would that be correct? It says the probability of x being greater than or equal to 58. That's not what we want. You're not bumping passengers at 58, right? If I compute this, you'll see it's incorrect. The reason why it's incorrect is we need to be more than 58. We bump at 59, right? So you can either make it x is greater than or equal to 59, or you can come in here and change this and make it greater than 58, strictly greater than 58. Those are your two options because you start bumping after the plane is full. So 0.4211 is the probability that you'll be a passenger will be bumped when they sell 64 tickets. That's quite high, right? OK, C, for a plane with seating capacity 250 passengers, what is the largest number of tickets that can be sold to keep the probability of a passenger from being bumped below 0? OK, so again, we're being bumped. We're showing up. So that probability remains the same. But the n is going to be the unknown in this case. We don't know. We want, to, we want to start putting in it and computing to make our probability to be less than 1%. So we don't know that part. Uh, the capacity is 250 passengers. So 250 are the number of passengers, just like they've always been, right? 
and here are the number that we can sell. Now, to be bumped from a plane that can seat 250, you want to be greater than 250, or greater than or equal to 251. That's when you're starting to be bumped off the plane, right? Now, let's make this percentage here less than 1%. How many can we sell? Let's try 255. If I sell 255 tickets, well, that's definitely less than 1%, but I can get, I can sell more. How about 260? Yep, still definitely less than 1%. All right, 266. Okay, that's 1%, but let's see if I can go down now, because that would be less than 1%. 265, there it is. We're just less than 1%. We're 0.8%, right? We're less than 1%. At 266, we're at over 1%, and at 265, we're at just less than 1%. Now, again, this is showing being bumped, right? 251 or more. Alternatively, greater than 250. You know, just strictly greater than, because that's when you're bumping, less than 1%. So 265 are the number of tickets we can sell to keep our bumping probability to being less than 1%. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Post questions and discussion.